Hi everyone, I'm Helen and our team members are Yongjun and Mark. Our project is about LDPC codes for dictionary learning. So since you guys might not be really familiar with these topics, so I'm going to just briefly explain the background knowledge. So compressed sensing is basically solving this optimization problem. Alpha here is an original signal we want to measure, and it is a very sparse signal. So in this case, uh, where the signal is really sparse, we don't really have to measure all the values in alpha, but we can just measure x, which is a linear projection of alpha, and it has much less dimension than alpha. So the matrix that's doing this linear projection is D. It's called measurement matrix or a dictionary here. So dictionary learning here means that learning a good matrix for D. So what is LDPC codes? LDPC codes stand for low density parity check codes. It is a very widely used error correcting coding scheme in communications. So it's serving this optimization problem, which is really similar to the previous one. And here, uh, H is a parity check matrix. And S is a parity check base, which uh, transmitter is sending to the receiver. And receiver wants to get uh, E to detect if there's any errors in the signal. So as you can see, these two problems look really similar. So in 2012, Demarcus et al. showed a bridge lemma which connects these two different concepts. So what it's basically saying is that good parity check matrices in, low, in LDPC codes are also good for measurement matrices in a compressed sensing setup. So uh, I probably have to skip this slide. So uh, our goal is to learn a good dictionary matrix using LDPC codes. So um, our proposed algorithm has two steps. Step one is to initialize the dictionary with the LDPC codes. So the LDPC codes are inherently a very sparse matrix, so it makes the dictionary a sparse matrix. And in step two, we update only the non-zero elements in the initialized LDPC matrix in step one. So with this proposed algorithm, we want to attain less computational complexity than the conventional methods. So in step one, we, we construct the LDPC codes using progressive edge growth algorithm and density evolution. So, and then in step two, uh, so in step one, we fix the non-zero locations in the matrix. And in step two, we only update those non-zero elements values. So we use the proposed, we use the algorithm that was proposed in 2009. So uh, we are using the same update rule, but in this algorithm, they update all the values in D, but here we only update the non-zero values. So it requires much less computations than the uh, existing algorithm. So we simulated uh, with the famous LENA image. So the simulation we ran is first learning the dictionary from the original image, and then reconstructing the image from the learned dictionary. So the first image is the original image, and the second image is using the dictionary, which is just a plain LDPC code without any kind of learning. So you can see that the reconstructed image is kind of not good, like corrupted by these black dots. But in the third image, uh, we ran the learning algorithm on the same LDPC code. And you can see that the reconstructed image is much better than the second one. We also uh, did some comparison of different uh, dictionaries. So the first five results are from our own methods. And the last two methods are uh, the result obtained from the existing methods. So the bars here represent the cost function, which measures the difference between the original signal and reconstructed signal. And the blue line here uh, represents the number of non-zero elements in the matrix. So you can see that our method has much less number of non-zero elements in the matrix. It's like 1,000 in our method, but uh, in the existing algorithm, there are like 16,000 non-zero elements. But the difference in the cost function is not really that significant. So in summary, uh, by our new idea of combining the LDPC code into a dictionary learning problem, we were able to attain the cheaper computational complexity to learn the dictionary and also cheaper storage codes for the dictionary. Thank you.